With you the sun is shining 24 7 Cause when we're together It feels like we're in heaven If it will get dark You'll be my million stars I know I can lean on you Ooh, you catch me like a leaf Falling from a tree If I'll be a shooting star you make a wish No, I don't think this kind of feeling Never felt so real My heart is on the table Cause you're my everything I do all right guys, welcome back to the homestead. We were sitting down this morning, having our morning cup of coffee. This is our second. I already have and the second. Third. I'm not having the third. Oh, this Back. is my second cup of coffee. We're coffee freaks. Anyway, we were sitting down this morning talking about unfinished projects and things that we want to do around the homestead, getting things done, and kind of sparked a, a new energy behind us to do a couple things. One, complete every outstanding project that we have on, around the homestead that's that was the main thing but two and this is the biggest thing finish a growing season we we get into this mode where we have all of these big vision ideas of things that we want to grow and do on the homestead and then you know the heat or the height of the summer hits and everything kind of takes off and we just don't have the capacity to handle all of it and so we really want to be diligent about preparing ourselves. Well, we can start There's now. There's a couple of things that happened this summer. One was we had major, major, major pest issues that got out of control. They yep. decimated several of our crops and it was extremely discouraging because we spent hours planting, like growing our seedlings, transplanting them, watering them, and in 24, 48 hours, an aphid infestation or right. the stink bugs, what are they called, their, their normal name, um, squash bugs. Yeah. Like all of our melons, all of our cukes, like I mean, yeah, like over a hundred plants got. It's taken. hard when you sow a ton of time and energy into something, and then in a matter of a week, it all gets taken out. The other thing was irrigation. Irrigation, we yeah, we a ton, exactly. And we were hand watering because we built new raised beds, and it would take me an hour to an hour and a half every morning on the really hot days to water, and that is it was a lot of my time. So yeah, so when you don't have good pest control solution and you don't have a good irrigation solution, you're just setting yourself up for fail failure, and that's what we did this past season. So this season, you know, on the downtime, in the middle of the winter, we wanna make sure that we're completing all of those projects ahead of time. We have, uh, as you saw in the last video, we have an irrigation system set up so that we can water from our pond, which that's cool. And you'll do drip tape. In each yeah, room. and so every bed is gonna have a drip tape irrigation hooked up to it and they'll have valves and we can turn them on and off. The other thing we need to do is make sure that we have good um, pest control solutions, so netting. So be, be or, more preemptive. Yeah. So as we sat on the couch, these were our to-do list from earlier in the season of all the many projects that we completed. So June, May, Maze. This was all the work that we did over this past March, April, up until now. Tons of projects. And so it was sitting unfinished on the fridge. So we sat down and went through and found every unfinished project, reconfigured it, threw it on the fridge. Nothing fancy, but vision for the next couple of months, projects that we need to complete. Look. Garden of Tears, which is, that's where all our raised beds are. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave a link in the description below. You want to check that out. Uh, greenhouse, that's almost done. Honeybee Hill, which is that side of the property where the pigs are at. Anyway, you can't see out the window. Honeybee Hill, we gotta do some stuff up there. Our Cooney Coonies. Our Cooney Coonies, you saw the video where we, uh, where Fernie had her piglets. And we're gonna be selling those in the next, what, two weeks? No, they're, they'll be three, three weeks. weeks tomorrow, so. so three weeks from now, we'll be starting to list them for sale. If you're interested in purchasing a uh, purebred Cooney Cooney, you can contact us. Uh, go to the about section on our channel and send us an email or send us an email at hello at goshenfarmandgardens.org and uh, we'll work something out. Anyway, we have seven of those. Uh, five of those we believe are going out for sale. We're gonna keep two of them. Are we? Probably we're gonna keep two of them. It depends on feed situations and all that stuff. Um, so if you're interested in purchasing a Cooney Cooney, Hit us up. Then the pond, we have outstanding projects on the pond. We gotta still dig a trench, bury the liner, all that good stuff. We're hoping by the, the beginning of the summer, the pond is fully complete, so we'll have grass growing up, and you know, it'll be nice and done. 
we got to build a beach there and uh, I'm gonna document that whole project so stay tuned for those and then another big pain in our side and probably a lot of people's side as they homestead is fencing so we have to work out our fencing situation we have some loose ends there and uh, so that's another one anyway mr. Bing you ready to work you ready to work uh -huh. All All right. Right. what are you gonna do today look in the greenhouse look in the greenhouse, in the greenhouse? So anyway, we just wanted to kind of share where we're at and the, uh, the whole um, progress of everything and uh, what we're going to be doing today, cleaning up around the homestead, getting stuff. Cleaning up the garden and then finishing. The I like to call it de junkifying or de red neckifying the property. We're going to get our kids to work and we're going to be working mainly on the nook. So the centerpiece of the garden of tears is the nook where we can go and we can have our quiet time. We can chill. We can have time with the Lord or whatever it is. And that has not been able to be used very much ever since we built it because it has no insulation. So in the height of the summer, it gets blazing hot. And even at the beginning of winter, like right now, we can't even use it because it's too cold. And so I did some of the insulation we started this project last, last week. Sunday. Yeah. Family and um, yeah. so we're gonna finish it. We're gonna finish it today. We have some Luan. Anyway, we'll, we'll go out there and we'll start this whole day. Kind of wanted to just share what we're doing though. All right, so this is what we've done so far. Um, yeah, we're just insulating and then we're gonna put some really thin plywood on. So you wanna cut this? What? You wanna cut this? Push the trigger, okay? When I tell you to, not yet. Go on. All right, we got one wall done. We're gonna have some, obviously, some noticeable seams in here, which you know what? It's fine. Not a big deal. It's just a, uh, it's just a little shed. So. The seams are kind of kind of be all over the place. Um, I'm gonna try to make sure that this one area just have a seam going all the way across. And then this wall is gonna have some seams all over the place just because of the way it's laid out with the um, with the bar there. But it looks nice. I don't even think we're gonna paint it. I think we're gonna leave it just like it is and not touch it. Um, but that's the seam. Anyway, we have to finish. I need to do some more um, wall backer or drywall backer uh, for the corners, for the tops, and then I got to figure out what I'm going to do for the roof up here. For the ceiling, it's it. We have these little drop areas, basically where it drops down. So I'm thinking about just doing a flat piece all the way across the top of the ceiling and adding some more of these and leveling them off because they're kind of cocked. This one's lower down than that one. And possibly use two by four so I have something to screw into. So I think I'm gonna do that for the backer on the ceiling. So we'll just go all the way up and then butt right there next to the backer. And then in this piece right there and then do the same on this side and then just have one flat piece going down the center. Let's keep laying this stuff on and uh, hopefully we'll be done soon. Clean up six. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cleaning up the sticks here. It's here we cool. go. What have we been doing? Uh, we have been moving the wood. The wood? Yes, and we just went to go outside to get all the trash in our yard. Trash? Yeah, they were the ground maintenance crew. Picking up any trash and bikes and toys. And about, I don't know, six, eight weeks ago, Adam delimbed the property. Uh oh. About to hit the back of the van. Babe, I need the screwdriver to go in reverse. Our golf cart, <laughs> you have to use the screwdriver to put it in reverse, but we figured it out. All right, girls. Hopefully we don't lose too many limbs on the way. We have a massive burn pile at the back of our property from all the limbs yeah, it's cute. on our five acre property that Adam went through nearly every tree except for the woods. Here we go. Tari, um, you ready to do this? We got her done. Yes. Or would we go to the next project? Let's say hello. 
hello. Say hello. <laughs> Can you say hi? Say hi. Alright girls, y'all gotta yeah. go pick up the backyard now. One more step to de redneckify. We are the grounds maintenance. We only, you only have two helpers. I've got three. I've got a Kara. <laughs> Kara, you are you gonna help? <laughs> Look over here. Beep, 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 beep. Hello. Alright, here we go. Alright, sit down. Oh, and it won't even start now. It's dead. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It's not dead. We're okay. Oh. We're okay. All right, yeah. Here we go. For those of you who don't know, we got this golf cart for $100, maybe a little bit less, and rehabbed it. It had a broken motor. It was rusted out completely. And Adam and I say it turned it into a project. And uh, surprisingly, it runs. <laughs> Just a little ghetto, but we like it. I, I learned hard work <laughs> from my mom. I was raised by a single mom. I don't know if this camera's on my it's face. It's your grandma. It was your grandma. Can y'all scoot over so I can get on? My grandma. But I was raised by my mom. It was four girls she raised. And if she taught us anything, it was hard work. She definitely instilled a great work ethic within us. Taught us a lot of skills. And I use probably everything I learned daily. All right, I found some I more trash. Uh, Look one. at this. Trash. All right, how about that ball? Let's grab that and put it on the back deck. <laughs> All right, Story. See that lawnmower over there? Let's grab that lawnmower. The one by the fence, Walker's lawnmower. What? Walker's lawnmower. All right, Michaela, let's keep scanning the ground, see if we see any sticks or trash that we need to get up. Found some more trash. One thing I've been trying to teach my girls is a job of ours is to make our home beautiful bring it back into order. And so that's what we're doing out here today. Adam's busy in the nook. We don't have any projects that the kids can do, so. Us ladies, we're gathering all the trash from the yard. Odie, Odie, Odie! Hey, buddy. Hey, Ryder. Honey from lunch, hey, sir. Hey, Bernie girl. Hey, Mama Bird. Hey, Philly. I'm thinking of naming you Chili girl if you know how to tear up the ground. Who's the baby? They're doing really great. They'll be three weeks old tomorrow. Here they come. There's Pinky. Pinky follows Fern wherever she goes. Hey, Pinky. So just a few minutes ago, Isaiah came up to me and said, Mom, look what I found. It's a dime. This might seem in insignificant to you guys, but not to us. About a week ago, my mom uh, messaged me. My oldest sister, so her firstborn, tragically passed away October 2018. She was a mom of four, and it's been really hard on all of us. And um, anyways, my mom says she's been asking God for signs that Andrew is okay. She just wants to know that she knows in her heart that she's with the Lord and she's okay. And uh, since then, she's been finding dimes everywhere. Me, I've never found a dime. I mostly find pennies, but I haven't been paying attention to it. But she says she finds multiple dimes in very peculiar places. And since she shared it with me, like within 24 hours, I found two dimes. And now this is the third dime in a week that we've found. I say I was digging in the garden and found it. So I thought that was pretty cool. The Lord is hearing our prayers. Woo, there goes the camera. Oh, Gunner wants to ride. You got pumpkin yeah. in the car? Yeah, I got pumpkin in the car. Come on, Gunner. Come on, buddy. How's it going? Wow. Doing good. It looks so warm. It's nice and cozy with a lot of glass. A lot of glass in here. Why aren't you wearing a mask this time, babe? Ah, <coughs> just quick, just a quick run, you know. What did y'all do? <coughs> we um, hmm. um told you what to uh, us to do. Yes. And what did we, we do, Story? Did... Clean up. Yes, clean up the backyard. What did the ground maintenance crew? Walker, don't look anybody. What did the ground maintenance crew do? The ground maintenance crew. Do you want to help you? Just hold that in. Hold it. Yeah.
her dog. She's right away. Both of them? It's not. And pumpkin. It's um, too tall right here. Huh? Okay. Alright, we got one wall done. I got everything insulated, all the walls insulated, so that's a big feat. And then I started to do this wall over here. Anyway, we're done for the day. This was a uh, long day. Had some other stuff I had to take care of. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for tracking with our journey. Remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit all, and you will get all of our notifications when we release videos. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. All right, we're checking back in. We just went out for a little bit. We left the uh, heater on when we went out. Yeah. It's now, let's see, 44 outside. 80, almost 80 degrees in here. Obviously, that means this is working quite well. We were gonna insulate the floor, but I don't even know that we need to insulate the floor now. Anyway, this works out pretty good. So we'll finish this paneling up and uh, this nook will be done here soon.